Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How you doing? So today we're going to be cutting some plexiglass for some uh, window that somebody broke out trying to get in my car and camping out in my car or whatever, stealing stuff in my car. Um, so this is your basic, uh, this is like the plexiglass cutter. And so basically what you want to do is you want to get your line, trace it, or line up whatever you're going to cut. So you got a straight cutting angle and just cut and then uh, what I did is I took and uh, I took like went across across it like five times and I cut this one here so this one here is basically uh, gonna be one of my windows I'm gonna put in in my car and uh, I'll just clean it up a little bit this one I traced it I gouged this on both sides about five times and so what you're supposed to do is make sure you have like this one here I just cut off make sure you have it so that it's it's got a support underneath it so it's gonna only crack kinda like where you want it so this it wasn't a real straight cut but it, it doesn't have to be perfect but if you want a straighter cut you take more time you want to clamp it down and stuff but okay so you could put a clamp here if you wanted to I'm not gonna I don't I'm not gonna get technical on this one Basically, you line it up to where you want to cut it, and you etch it, and this cutter actually uh, sort of separates it, creates kind of a groove in the, uh, in the plexiglass. It's kind of, it's, it's better than a, a regular uh, razor knife. But if you don't have one of these, this costs like 10 bucks or so, if you don't have one of these, you can go and uh, use a razor knife. But I, I would, if I used a razor knife, I'd uh, definitely scratch it, you know, etch it down probably quite a few times. You can see it's pulling up the plastic. See, it pulls up the plastic. That's a good part out about it. It pulls it up and out of there. It's actually sort of creating a trench in the, the plastic. And once you've got to, whatever, etch this a few times, then uh, you can just keep it in the sandwich thing here and then bust it off. It's probably okay to bust off, but I'm going to use it a couple more times here. And uh, just etch it good so it's going it, to... It takes a little bit of muscle to bust this thing, but uh, it, it broke... Uh, at a pretty straight angle, as straight as I etched it, basically. And I'm going to do it a few more times, so, and I'll just bust it off. It snapped clean. Um, if I would have been more precise on the, on the etchings, it probably would have been a lot straighter. But at least it didn't crack anywhere. And so, yeah, you got to kind of keep that sandwiched in between there. And uh, now I can put this on my car. Okay, here's the uh, window that got busted out. Uh, so, yeah, I was going to fix this car up. Put in, I put it in storage until I had time to uh, mess with it. I used this tarp to cover it up temporarily. But, uh... It's a Ford Escort. It's got, what, 6,000? 5,000? Only 5,000 more? Oh, 54,000 miles. 54,000 miles. And it's a nice looking car. Nice looking car. <clears throat> and what happened was people I got it from said it started overheating and they bought a new radiator for it and then uh, that didn't solve the problem so uh, I think uh, what I did is I put some block sealer in it some bar stop leak yeah bar stop leak or get that silicone silicate or sodium silicate you put it in the Put it in the coolant and uh, you can uh, use that instead of this 
expensive stuff. This is what I put in here basically. And it ran a little bit better. But, uh, you know, it's probably going to need some head work. And once you got the head off, you might as well just do a valve job and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, yeah, this is the Escort. I was going to try and sell it. Put it on Craigslist the other day. And, uh, taking best offers. It's a nice looking little car. Ford Escort. Anyway, back to the window. So basically what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take two screws, hold that panel, or this, on. Another screw behind here, I think. Take that off. Take that uh, lever off, wheel lever, or whatever they call it. Window lever. And uh, pull this back. And I can get inside there and I can see where everything is. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to pull this back, I think, in order to get a good shot at that. And this curves a little bit here. I may have to sand the plexiglass. And you can use a, a heat gun to curve the plexiglass, theoretically. I've never done it, but my mother has. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's what we're working on today, fixing that window. Okay, got everything off now. We can, uh, now this, uh, this door handle, it's just got that little clip. You just have to reach a screwdriver and then push that clip up a little bit. Um, then that, that handle will come off. You just put a screwdriver on that thing, that clip will get loose enough you can pull that off. And then we can look in here, uh, see what it looks like. And if you got a problem with your window, falls off the whatever uh, what do they call it the register or whatever it's called and it falls off then you got to get in here and do this anyway right got that problem with my other rig the the door or the window <coughs> roller the thing that holds the window up in place has rusted so and this, this part here, on these, um, it's got a little clip on there. If you push that clip back, push it back this way, you can pop that lever off for the door handle. And uh, so that's how that works on this particular one. So now we can kind of get in here and see what's happening. Um, since I don't have any... Okay, so here's part of the the original window this I might may or may not use I probably won't use just gonna make it a static kind of window but uh, <clears throat> at least we can see what's going on in here a little better Could maybe clean some of that glass out with some gloves and start getting that window in okay there it is for some reason I forgot that this length here and this length here um, is a different length. But this is going to work for now. It'll be fine. Looks a lot better in this tarp. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll probably just add some glue on it. Put some glue on it. It's not perfect. But at least it's better than it was.